As seen live on the score, it's McMaster and Western in the 104th edition of the Yates Cup. The big story heading into this one, the health of that guy, Western starting quarterback Donnie Marshall, who made his first start since October the 1st because of an ankle injury. Speaking of ankle injuries, oh, there goes big man Scott Catterine getting juked by Donnie. Western led by three after one. The only touchdown of the first half belonged to the Marauders. Chris Pizzetta runs it in from seven yards out. 10-3 Mac. The Mustangs, meanwhile, kept shooting themselves in the foot when they had chances to score. In the first half, they had four trips inside the red zone and only one point to show for it. That's Joy Capito. He had four picks last week. He gets one here. Western and their banged up quarterback down seven at the half, by the way. This was also Tim McAuliffe's last game as the score's play-by-play -play voice of OUA football. Uncle Timmy has learnt a thing or two up there over the years, like, oh, I don't know, how to predict the future? People tuning in from across the country saying these are the top two offenses in the nation. It's 10-3. See if they can awaken from their mighty slumber. Quinlan looking to do it to the Croce. Got him! And on cue, countdown on. 30, 20, 10. Touchdown, Mac, 102 yards. McAuliffe saw that one coming. 20 to three Mac heading to the fourth quarter. That's when they'd start to pull away even further. Quinlan hits Robert Babick to make it 27-3. Kyle Quinlan then hits Brad Fochisato. It's 34 to three Marauders. Ball game over. For the first time in school history, the McMaster Marauders win a Yates Cup with somebody other than Greg Marshall as the head coach. He's on the losing end this time around. Kyle Quinlan is your MVP. Head coach Steph Potasik brings Mac their first Yates since 03. Mac now sits one win away from a Vanier Cup appearance. They'll head out east to Moncton to take on Acadia in the UTEC Bowl. But for now, it's time to celebrate in Hamilton. The Marauders are Yates Cup champions. Back here at TD Waterhouse Stadium in London alongside Donovan Bennett. I'm Tim McAlphin, DJ, the marquee red clear for this football game. The top two offenses in the entire nation going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, blow for blow. But it was a defense that provided the blows in this one. Back in week two, Western made a crucial play. In fact, three of them from the two-yard line. But this time around, it was McMaster's defense that came up with three critical stops on their own two-yard line. And it was surprising how they did it. Normally when you're talking about McMaster's defense, it's their talented secondary, but their front seven stood at the head of the table and made plays against Western strength. Their short yardage game, especially the run game, is so good, McMaster. They took the challenge. They played with more aggression, more passion, more leverage, and they made those plays when they needed it in the ball game, and that's what turned this ball game around. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Special players make special plays on special days. And that's exactly what transpired here today as Mike DeCroce, the OUA MVP, came through thanks in part to his very talented quarterback, Kyle Quinlan. And these two guys showed you why the first team OUA All-Stars today, the yeah. proof is in the pudding. And Kyle Quinlan, you couldn't write a better story. No. What he went through this year, yeah. the perseverance he showed, he showed you great perseverance and patience in this ball game. He also showed you the great skill. And when he needed to play, he went to big play to Croce to make them. These guys are special. They've had special careers. They had a special Yates Cup today. So for the fifth time in school history, the McMaster Marauders are Yates Cup champions, but for the first time, they do it without Greg Marshall. In fact, they do it on his field here in London. For DJ Bennett, I'm Tim McAuliffe reporting from TD Waterhouse Stadium in London for The Score.